All right, Stephen, when we check out the defense, combining these three components, as we've discussed during the offseason, talent, experience, and previous productivity, you put those three together, and it could be just a vintage Alabama defense. But, of course, they, they got to go out there and do the work now and get ready for Miami. This is a chance to be a very scary unit on that side of the ball. And the, the entire offseason, uh, the main question has been, uh, uh, is Alabama back? Is, is Alabama back elite on defense? Is it marquee on defense? Is, is it special on that side of the ball again? I go back to SEC, SEC football media days. Uh, among the first, among the first five to six questions to Fedarian Mathis, our fifth-year senior on the defensive line to Alabama, was, "Hey, big man, how's the defense looking? Is the defense back? Is it back to its standard? Is it back to being the elite?" Those were among the first. Five to six questions to him for Darian Mathis. And he basically stared at the camera and said, just watch us this year. We're back. So you look at this group, you look at this team under uh, under Pete Golding. Coach Golding, there's a sense of urgency with him, Mark. He, he thoroughly understands that, this, that, that there's a huge standard in Alabama and not giving up just a whole bunch of points, even though the game has changed, the structure has changed, everything tends to favor the offenses in college football now. But Pete Golding, in a very animated way, was, was, was speaking on the main reason why he took the Alabama job, the main reason why he said yes to the Saban, is to come coach a defense that can be number one in the country. Not just number one in the SEC, but number one in all of college football. So he understands you've got to keep teams out of the end zone, whether it's tightening up on first and second down, finishing plays on third down, creating turnovers, stuff in the run, sacking quarterbacks, whatever it has to take to keep teams out of the end zone, they have to get that done. And also communicating better uh, across the board when it comes to getting the calls made on the field. So this year's defense is a chance to go back to you know, the Bama groups in 2009, 2011, 2016, and 2017. Uh, and it just starts with the sense of urgency uh, that Pete Golding is bringing as he enters his fourth year in the program, his third year as the primary play caller. 